Hey everybody, Tara Green here. I just wanted to talk about the Baltimore, that bridge collapse that happened on the 26th early in the morning. In fact, it was within 24 hours of the big, uh, not so big, lunar eclipse that happened five degrees of Libra at 3 a.m. and the ship called the Dali, which I'm writing about here on my blog. You can see me writing about here on my blog at 1.28 a.m cargo ship slammed into that bridge and it was caught live on camera and uh, I think only six people died which is quite amazing so I wanted to look at the astrology here uh, of the exact moment and I also like to use asteroids now there's over 200,000 named asteroids I don't know if you can see this or not but there's an asteroid called Dali you see that right there it's at 22 degrees Gemini, exactly on the descendant. So the AC there is Sagittarius. I always think of the ascendant, the metaphor I like to use, it's like a prow of a ship, and there's Dali right there in Gemini. Um, I believe there was an Indian crew on board heading to Sri Lanka, and the ship is flying a Singapore flag, but owned by a giant Belgian company. So here we go. So here we go. We, we were, I was writing about that finger of God, this asteroid, this astrological aspect, which is any two planets 60 degrees apart. This is all about sacred geometry astrology. That's what I like to call it. So the planet Venus and Saturn, the planet of karma in Pisces, the sign of water, are in a 60 degree angle. There's Saturn and Venus in a 60 degree angle. My cat's going to walk in here now. To Jupiter and Taurus, which has to do with goods. And it, this ship was carrying tons of like big tanking things and also Uranus. Now technically they're supposed to be very tightly within that 60 degrees. So there they are in a 60 degree angle called a sextile. It has nothing to do with sexting. Um, it's very supportive. So the two of them are then, you can see the little green dots I've drawn in there. That's what's called an inconjunct or a quincunx aspect. These planets are in elements and signs five degrees apart. So they can't see each other very literally. So you can see all the planets are bunched up pretty tightly there from Pisces, Aries, Taurus, basically everybody's there, right? Pluto's over there, kind of leading the pack. So there's the moon uh, up in Libra there. Of course, it's moved on, but it is, nobody can see the moon. Um, so all of those realistic planets like Jupiter, and Saturn, which normally rules reality, but now it's in Pisces, so it rules everything that's imaginary, unreal, fake news, water, oil, things like that. Um, people can't see the moon, which means there's a big unconscious aspect going on. Now, this aspect was also going on during the lunar eclipse, okay? So, you know, I would say that there's definitely, you know, Sagittarius rules adventure, international affairs, all of that. I'm just going to go into this a little bit briefly, but uh, one of the astrologers on X pointed out to me that um, that there was a previous eclipse in Taurus uh, at the end of October, uh, which would have been like one of the last eclipses before we got to this one. And it has a Sabian symbol. I don't know if you know about Sabian symbols. Um, let's see, I kind of need to change my screen here. I know we're talking about this eclipse here. I'm just going to scroll through this. I don't usually do it this way. The Taurus lunar eclipse was Saturday, October the 28th, 2023. Um, and it was at five degrees. I think I have it here somewhere. Um, five degrees. Let's see if we can get it here. Um, there's the eclipse astrology there. And it was at... Is it that one? No, it's not that one. There was one on the 14th. And the next one, sorry about this, I'm doing this very impromptu reading. Um, lunar eclipse, is it that one? Yes, it's this one. It was a lunar eclipse. It was a blood moon lunar eclipse. That was October 28th, 2023. Um, at, you can see it there, um, five degrees five degrees of Taurus. I know it's a little bit hard to see it there. So the Sabian symbol, and I always go to the original. This is Dane Radyar who wrote this book. Dane Radyar, who was a polymath, 
incredible astrology. He really created the beginning of humanistic astrology. He was actually, I think that was basically the first real astrology book I read. So his interpretations are always the ones I go to all the time. And so here's what, here's what the symbol is. Hold on a second. The symbol for that degree of that lunar eclipse. Now I have to thank someone on, on X for pointing this out to me because I wouldn't have thought to go that far back. Okay, so here is the symbol. I'm going to make that screen a little bit smaller there so you can read it. Okay, and the second level is the emotional, cultural, and the degree for, we always go up a degree, Taurus, six degrees, a cantilever bridge across a deep gorge. <laughs> well, there you go, that one's right on. So my point is, he talks about conquest of separateness through group cooperation. The person who has suffered deprivation and loneliness can give new substances to his or her emotional life by participating in a collective project. All great evolutionary challenges imply the overcoming of basic difficulties. A step ahead must be taken, yet an abyss confronts evolving man. It is no longer a personal void, an open grave, but a chasm that is an integral part of the land upon which man's evolution must proceed. A link must be built through the power of the collective mind or the group or of the community at large on the basis of the legacy of the past to make a bridge over the canyon. This is the first stage of the eighth, fifty, fivefold process of substantiation that man made bridge built with collective skill gives substance to and demonstrates man's capacity to conquer obstacles and to achieve evolutionary continuity as well as expansion in space. So there you go. Also, so I would say that that eclipse, now they mentioned that uh, this cargo ship Dolly eight years ago had an accident. Eight years is always a Venus cycle. And there you go. There's, you know, I know you don't really believe in astrology, but it's extremely literal. There's Dolly. There's Mars just entered Pisces and Mars represents accidents in the water. Okay. So if you want to get in touch with me to get a very in-depth reading for yourself, you can get in touch with me at terratero.com. Blessings.